What's up everybody, it's the Supreme Burrito, back to you with another video. Um, today I am going to be doing an unboxing and review video of the SEMA X5C, which is like a, a big quadcopter, it's like that big, and um, I bought it off of Amazon. If you type in SEMA, which is S-Y-M-A, and then X5C, and there's no capitals in that, um, it's the first result that pops up, that's what I bought and I think it was $52 and I got it in five days with Amazon Amazon Prime so um, yeah, let's just get right into it the box is huge this is the box I don't know if you guys can see it yeah you guys can see it so just to get an estimate that's my hand that's the size of the box. So it's pretty much like a hole. It's from my wrist, right, right here to here, pretty much. You can tell it's huge. I can't even get my head and the box in the frame. So I'm gonna just unbox it with the old knife. It didn't open right. I know you guys can't really see it. I'll try to get it up in the frame now. So, the typical Amazon packaging, all the brown paper. Okay, now let's get to see my sort of see. So, this is an actual SEMA X5C. As you guys can see, and that's what it looks like. I think that's in the frame. I can't see it. So, and that's the controller. And as you can see right here, it has a camera. So, it's pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet box. It has a handle. And if you guys didn't know, I already have a quadcopter. I crashed it into a tree all the way to the top of a huge oak tree and it's over a, easily over like 150 feet tall and it was stuck right at the top and it stayed there for like I think like two months and it got rained on and everything finally fell out of the tree one day and it landed way out in my woods and I noticed it wasn't in the tree that day so me and my dad went around and we finally found it and my dad found it and um, so this is what it looks like but afterwards you guys are going to see how this is why you don't want to fly in, in like woods to areas Everything on it is destroyed. All the propeller, like all of these, got all destroyed because they got stuck on the branches. I actually tried to shoot it out with my airsoft gun to try to break some of the branches. And like you guys are probably like, what are you thinking? But it's a 450 FPS airsoft gun, so it's easily as strong as a normal BB gun, maybe even a pellet gun. So I know it can shoot through a branch that's like that thick, like smaller than a pencil. So and it was all dead limbs, but. It powers on, as you guys can see, it's really bright, sorry, see all the lights, but um, this is usually, um, this is off of, I think it's gearbest.com, came with this controller, I'm just showing you guys this while I'm doing my SEMA X5C, I, it was 40 bucks, um, it's usually 110, it's like quadcopters is not an, like, it's not an inexpensive or cheap hobby by any means, but if you get a SEMA X5C, this is a little bit more than that one, and it's like quadruple the size, based on what I've heard. I hope it does, it's not going to be dis a disappointment. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to figure out how to open this piece, and then I'm going to show you guys the inside. So, I'm trying to get this little lever piece. Looks like the cardboard wasn't cut all the way through in the factory. Alright, it should come apart now. Looks like it has that same plastic packaging as my other quadcopter. Does it open? 
Oh, it opens like this. So, this side's the lid. So you go like this and open it. Oh, okay, it's, it's kind of big. It's not nearly as big as I thought it was going to be. I thought the CMX XYC was like that. It's only that big. I'll show you guys. It looks so big in all the pictures and everything. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to complain. It comes with a camera. Based, like, I just saw it, so I know it comes with one. So, this is kind of weird. Um, I'm just going to try to get this all in the frame. This is how it looks. I hope I can get that as a screenshot, just so you guys can see it. But, um, the controller looks just kind of weird what they did. Oh, they have stuff underneath it. So, they put little foam blocks on the joysticks. I don't know why. I don't think they're cheap. It doesn't look like they're going to break. Came with a charging cable. It looks like it's the same one as my other quadcopter, so I might be able to use those batteries for it. Charger. Set that to the side. I don't know what this is. I think this is a thumb drive. That looks like what so that's what this is. Oh, okay. Now I understand. This is a this is a thumb drive. So what you do with it is there's like a plug in the back. This is the plug side right on this side. This is the plug right here. This is the butt end. This side has like a hole, like an outlet in it. It looks like that's probably what the SD card is for, like from the camera. You plug that in and it, it instantly like uploads it or something. And um Got a little screwdriver. Oh, well, that's sweet. It comes with extra props, too. For those of you who don't know what props are, I'm just going to show you guys the box. I've taken out a lot of the stuff. Um, by the way, that thumb drive charger and screwdriver were down in this, in the bottom, below the remote. Gosh. This is some strong tape. I don't know. Okay, at least I didn't put it all the way around the whole box. That's what it looked like first. Um, oh, it comes with four extra props. That's even better. So, it's kind of packaged weird, the way they put the props in. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like when we get it. Um, so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. I mean, I've been saving money for a car, I was just like, you know, might as well just spend a little bit, you know, for something that I know I'm going to have now, because I still have to work on my license. So, that's what it looks like when you first open it. So it's like, there's like a few layers, so you take this piece off, it's like a clear piece of plastic. I'm just going to throw that to the side. Then there's two props. There's one here, and then another one here set those to the side and then there's another one of those plastic things and then there's two more props below it so you have a full set of extra props which is sweet um this is going to be a little bit confusing to open up this is the plastic thing it looks like there was like a little cardboard thing on the inside um the manual is underneath this plastic piece, just in case you guys get it and you're looking for all this stuff. Um, I'm just going to do this and take off all these little things. This might be like a, a little bit longer of a video, but I mean, I know if I were to be like wanting to buy it like this without knowing anything about it, I'd prefer to watch a video before I get, you know which I actually watched multiple videos before getting it. Man, these little twisty tie things that they put on here, those are a pain in the butt to take off. They, they take so long to take off, it's ridiculous. For those of you who, like, little kids that, like, during Christmas, I remember this all the time, for, like, all the stuff that I liked to get during Christmas when I was a lot, lot younger. Like, in kindergarten, second grade and stuff, I'd love to get little, like, um, robots and, like, helicopters and quadcopters, but they didn't have, I don't think they had, like, cheaper, like, this cheap of quadcopters at the time, like, they were probably, like, 200 bucks easy, so, um, 
I remember they always had these like twisty ties that were really thick and they're like that long and they like wrap them around like the robot's like arms to the box like six times. I thought it was overkill, which I was probably right. Um, I'm just gonna try to take this out. So I took out all the twisty tie pieces. So I might actually save these so I can like bundle wires and stuff because I kind of need something like that. Okay. That's the SEMA X5C. It looks a lot bigger than all of the pictures I've seen. I had no clue it was going to be this small. But based on what I've heard, it's, it's pretty heavy duty. It can take a beating. Um, that's the camera on the bottom. I want to see if it powers on. No. It doesn't. Oh, that's a little bit... That's not one thing I really look like particularly and care for is that they have the gears exposed on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh man, I messed up my tripod. Okay. Um this back. Right there. Alright, actually. So professional. There. It's so, like the gears are exposed on the bottom. As you can see, they're not just fake, they actually do spin. So that's not something I'm too, I guess, fond of. Um, it seems pretty sweet. I mean, there's a few things here and there that I don't... This is just, like, by first glance. You know, like, people say don't judge a book by its cover, but I just... I want to show you guys what I think immediately of seeing this. It was very small, that's for sure. I don't like that. That's the size of my hand, just so you guys can know. And like, I would say that this is probably from like, you know, from like diagonal to diagonal. That's probably um, a foot, about, maybe less. That's not from prop end to prop end. That's from base of the quadcopter to the base of the quadcopter. It's not very impressive, in my opinion. Um, I was buying this because I thought it was big. Um, it's it's substantially a little bit bigger. Um, I'm gonna take out all these prop guards if I can manage to actually get them out. Of them. I've heard that this is a stronger quadcopter, like um. This is a lot easier. I don't know why I didn't do this with the knife. If I don't like this, I might just return it. Because, I mean, I like it, but I don't know. It doesn't seem exactly like what I thought it would be. That's the one thing I hate, is that I have never seen any dimensions um, on Amazon, really of like not the package but the actual product. Um, the outside is pretty like the plastic's pretty bendy as you guys can see. You can kind of crush it. So it's like a I don't know it seems like a rubbery type of plastic. Um, yeah look at this. I can push in the whole top of the quadcopter. So I mean Granite, it seems a little bit on the cheap side. The props are, they seem quite strong. They're bigger, so I know it has a lot more lift. Um, I mean, it comes with landing gear. It comes with, like, the landing gear looks like it's not going to break, like on my other quadcopter. And this has a camera already installed on it, with an SD card already in it, I think. And it has LEDs all on the bottom, and it has huge props. So, I mean, that's... That's an added bonus. I'm just going to get that all nice so that you guys can see. I mean, oh yeah, just so you guys can see the detail of the writing and everything. So SEMA X5C 2.4G, um, which I think means, I don't know what that means actually. Um, I'm not very good at understanding stuff about quadcopters. Okay, the remote. This is interesting. It's um, it's somewhat like my other 
um, my other quadcopter remote. I'm just trying to see if there's any video buttons or anything so that I can record from, you know, like the ground so I can just be like, oh, record now and then hit a button like this. But yeah, so this is what I was telling you about the weird buttons. There's one there, there, joystick, joystick, on off switch. And I think that's all the controls. And then there's an LED here. This screen I don't think does anything. I wish it did. Um, this already looks like the quality of the controller does not look better, in my opinion, than this other controller that I have in this box, which is for my other quadcopter. That's my opinion. This one looks more professional, and the plastic looks a little bit nicer. It's cheaper, though, but, I mean, I love the way that it feels. This one. I've never, like, I've never actually used one of these. That's pretty nice. It has little, tiny hand grip pieces here, so you can just hold it almost like an Xbox controller or a PS3 controller. So, um, it does have 360 degree inversion, which is basically, it can do a flip in midair, which, same thing with this one. This, just so you guys can see, this is like, to me, this is so small. That's the size of it to my hand. You see what I mean? That's like the size of the palm of my hand. So, that's very small. And then, as you guys can see, like just one of the booms, like well just the center of it is the size of the palm of my hand. So like this is the size difference of this quadcopter to this one. As you guys can see, big difference. I mean I guess I mean I wanted a big quadcopter. I mean this is not necessarily a big quadcopter, but it's bigger than this little thing, which was very hard to control. The wind would catch it and it'd be gone. So um I mean it's definitely interesting. Um, this is a long video, I'm sorry guys. I just kind of wanted to give you guys my honest opinion in this video. Um, I am probably, my next video of this quadcopter will probably be a flight test or a review of like what I think of it after I've already flown it. It's going to be kind of confusing trying to get a flight test. Um, one thing I'm a little bit skeptical about is that this camera, right there, when it's flying, I'm afraid that, because I don't know if you, for any of you that have used a quadcopter before and have a camera mounted on the bottom, it shakes a lot. Like, it shakes almost too much. It's like, it's just like, if you try to mount it, so you need like rubber O-rings or something. And based on what I see, this does not have any. And I've seen online that it looks like you just pop this off, but I kind of don't want it. Oh, there. Okay. Well, that was quite easy. Um, so to take this off, this is, I'm not going to be talking much longer, guys, so don't worry. You push up, so as you guys can see, it kind of, it went up, and then you bend it open. And when you look in there, there's the lithium battery right there. Lithium ion battery, that's what the package says, so. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, it seems like if you just want to do, you know, like regular flying and all that, um, then, you know, you just have this. But um, this, I specifically wanted this because it already had a camera, you know, what I've already shown. And um, I've seen online that people have made FPV stations hooked up to a SEMA, which this is the name of the quadcopter. I know I've already said that, just so you guys know. And, um, I'm kind of interested in possibly hooking that up to mine that I've been working on, and I'm going to show you guys that now. This is a this is a sneak peek. I'm not showing you guys everything about it, but I gotta kind of clean it up a little bit, take some stuff out of it. Um, there's certain things in here that are sorry, that's kind of loud. Um, certain things in here are kind of useless. This is the once I can get all this out. This is a real mess. Um, alright, there. Okay, um, this is my FPV station in progress. It's an old gun case. I have a monitor here and two speakers. And then I have a power source right here. It's just a portable charger. You can see the, the char the portable chargers, ch like, to charge it is on that side. And it has a flashlight on the front, so I cut a hole right 
right there. So I'll show you guys what I mean. That charger too. Yeah, see? It has a huge flashlight. If I could just be like, I know it's really bright, sorry guys, but like, it's, it's a very bright flashlight. So I could shine that on stuff, or I could charge something. And the cool thing is, if you're charging something, there's that little blue LED there. So, um, that would be my power source for the um, DVR system for the quadcopters FPV. And then um, the monitor um, would probably be hooked up to like a bigger battery, or maybe just a portable charger. So also, one thing, if you guys can figure this out for me, I'd really appreciate it. Um, the power source to this monitor, um, it's called a 7 inch HD TFT color monitor. That if any of you guys have it or know anything about it, I need this cable and USB. I want this end hooked up to the monitor and then have this, instead of this being like this with a plug, have a USB because I need it to be able to hook up to like a portable charger. It just makes it easier. I don't, I'm not going to wire this to something. It's too much work. Um, so I have that. This is the charging cable for the portable charger. This is an HDMI cord, and I just throw all of this in here like that, and then I just close it up. And the nice thing is it already has clips on the front, as you guys can see. Just close it and lock it, and now it's a suitcase. That's pretty sweet. So um, I'll put all that back. Uh, oh, also, I have this foam sheet so that I can cover it all up once I'm done. I gotta throw that in there, and then I'm gonna get back to the video, and then I'm gonna probably be done. Right. Okay, so I mean, all in all, this seems like a good product. I'm talking about this. So I'm gonna show you guys everything it comes with. Of course, it's the quadcopter, and of course, hopefully, of course, the remote, and it comes with these, um, this landing gear on the bottom, props, extra props, a camera, um, prop guards, four of them, because there's four props, a charger, an SD card to USB adapter for a computer, of course, and a screwdriver, and a manual and a pretty nice carrying case box thing. So, right now, I mean, I've had that, that quadcopter that I was showing you that I've had before this, that was, it, it was like, it's nice and I really like it, but I'm not having the same thing happen to this quadcopter that happened to that one. So I'm gonna make sure that I put on these prop shields. So, each one of the prop, um, prop guards, prop shields, propeller shield, propeller guard, those types of things, it looks like this. It has two pegs on the bottom, it has a screw right there, right in the middle. So that is, um, you screw down the screw, the way how you pop these in, I'm just going to do this and show you guys. So there's two, there's like a couple holes right there. So what you do is you put this in like that and now it's in, and then you push it like in as far as it'll go, and then you start screwing in the screw, and then that locks it in place. Now I'm pretty sure, I mean, these things, because this is a more well-known quadcopter, I'm pretty sure if this thing, like if these, per, if these prop guards were to break, I could probably find more online. So that's a nice thing. I know this is very long, but I'm pretty sure if I was able to, I would love to have seen a longer video like this so I can get literally all the information I can out of it. So I'm trying to give you guys everything. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, I put like a 10 as like the phantom. If you guys don't know what that is, that's, you know, a phantom. And then like a 1 being like those little mini ones that only have like two joysticks and an on-off switch. Those really tiny, tiny little ones. Um, and I put that as a, the little tiny ones as a 1. And then my older quadcopter that I showed you that I got stuck in a tree, I put that, like this is just a scale from 1 to 10, so you guys can see how much better that is. Um, if my old quadcopter was brand new, I'd put that at probably like a, 
a five or a six, and I put this at about like a seven or eight. So I mean, it's it's up there, but I mean, I'm not saying like each number is designated to one quadcopter. It can be to multiple ones, because some of the more expensive ones, this is based on look quality of this. Working quality of my old one was really nice. Um, I would probably put it my old one probably more at like a four, and this one would probably be more at like a six. If that, maybe a five, um, based on what it looks like. If it performs good, then it's a six for sure. But so all the prop guards are on. Kind of looks like a tennis racket type of thing. Um, the reason why these work is I don't know if this is in the frame. Okay, my wall is in the frame back here. If it hits. The props don't, like, the props themselves don't hit. The prop guards, they bend when they hit stuff. So, like, if it were to hit my hand, it bends up, as you guys can see. It's like a guard. So it could just, like, boing, bump into stuff and fall off. So the nice thing is the props clear the prop guards with, like, a centimeter um, to spare. So if somehow it were to bend or anything, it's not going to break your props. Even if it does, it comes with extra ones. So, um, I, I mean, this is, th yeah, this is 26 minutes long of a video. That's what it says now on my, um, my iPod. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is a longer video, I'm sorry, but this is just kind of to describe, you know, everything about this. I'm pretty excited to go try this out. I can't wait because it just seems really cool. Once, I, um, once I'm done with this video, I'm going to read through the manual, learn how to actually take out the battery and charge it, because I don't want to rip any terminals out or anything. And um, I, if you guys like like videos of me modding stuff and technology videos, check out my um, speaker mod video, where I mod a cheap speaker that was 5 bucks, and I'm going to turn it into a cool looking homemade speaker that will have LEDs on the inside of it, and it'll have subwoofers, it'll be very loud, enough to like fill up a home, like at least half a house, a two-story house, like at least half a house with like blaring music, so, um, if you guys like, you know, like those modding videos, go to my channel and check that out, if you like this video, then, um, make sure to subscribe down here somewhere, and if you like this video, then like it too, leave a comment if you have any advice, especially about the TFT 7 inch color monitor. Make sure, I really need that to find out about that USB cable. So if you guys know anything about that, put that in the comments below too. So thanks, you guys, for watching. This is the Supreme Burrito signing out. Catch you guys later.